Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio here at the Digital Barn in Prescott, Arizona. And we're looking at all of the new features in Final Cut Pro 10.1. Um, we looked at some of the library and media management capabilities of Final Cut 10.1. Now we're going to look at some of the editorial and effects and some of the you know, the fun stuff of Final Cut 10.1. And uh, today Mark's going to show us something about multicam. Yeah, in fact, specifically audio editing and multicam editing or I should say audio editing in multicam in general. Excellent. Because uh, multicam's already been a fantastic um, feature in Final Cut Pro 10. It's been very easy to do, syncs clips very easily, great, great product, great feature, but there's a certain things that you couldn't do with audio, which you can do now, okay? And because of these new features, to be able to work with audio completely independent from the video, um, we're using something here. If we look at this, I've got an example of a, of a, a short that you shot. Uh, this is a scene from a short film shot in San Diego, and it was shot with a single red camera, right? Red right. Epic Just different setups. Camera. Yeah, with different setups. So you might wonder, well, why use Multicam for that? But here's the cool thing about this. It's a very interesting workflow to take something that was shot with a single camera with multiple takes and multiple setups and do it as a Multicam shoot. So we don't have time to go into all the detail of how that works here because I want to focus on the audio piece, audio piece. But if you check out here, we've got this um, in the angle viewer. You can see I've got four different angles set up for this multicam clip right here in the browser. And basically, it's a two shot. There's an over the shoulder of the girl. And, and just briefly, I'll play it for you in a minute, but it's a couple having a conversation. So we have a two shot. We have a shot of the woman. We have another take of the shot of the woman, two separate takes, and the shot of the guy. And this could, you could make it much more complicated, but this kind of keeps it simple. So the idea is you can play those back and edit it. So what I'm going to do is play for you the actual multicam clip. You can see I'm kind of skimming through it, and I'm playing the multicam clip now. And we'll play a little bit. You'll see it's not in perfect sync at all, but it doesn't really matter. Not too much. Yeah. Okay. I'm set. All right. And action. <laughs> No, that is crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. Well, no one just jumps out of a plane. They have parachutes, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> what about swimming with a shark? Hmm. Do we get a shark cage? Oops. Wait, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water. Man eater. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you can see you get a real sense of the scene. There's definitely things are a little bit out of sync because the delivery of their timing is different and it depends how you choose to sync the multicam mm -hmm. clip as well, which we talk about in our multicam, our new multicam tutorial. Um, but basically it allows you to do a rough cut of a scene very quickly, uh, much more quickly than you would if you were just evaluating each take and figuring out which to use. And editing them into the timeline. Yeah, and... yeah, you can just go through and cut while you're watching. In fact, I wouldn't cut in real time, but I would go and cut as you as you go through this. And then let's close down. I'm going to shift command seven to close the angle viewer. And let's just look at this very rough cut. So this first rough cut is just the audio that was with each angle. It's just to get a rough feel for it. But let's see how this looks. Crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. Well, no one just jumps out of a plane at parachute, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> what about swimming with a shark? Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? <laughs> what? Well, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water. Man eater. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you can see how it's starting to take shape, right? It's, it's still very rough, but the idea is to use multicam to select the best takes. So you basically get the structure of the scene together, and then you can start massaging it and really working on the audio. So I'm just going to show one example of what you can do now in 10.1. The new audio features yeah, in the multicam. Exactly. Multi -cam. What's the new audio feature? So let's focus on this, this shot right here, and let's listen to it again. Hmm. Shark Sounds like he stepped on a frog or something. Yeah, or some kind of, I don't know what it is. What some is kind that? of whip, whip sound there. Hmm. Or somebody <laughs> sneezing in the background. Right, there's something going on. So you could potentially go in and cut that out. But the thing is, this was shot. Um, obviously, we've got four angles in this multi clip, So we have four different versions of the audio oh, that are available. Yeah. So check this out. What I'm going to do is right click on this. And I'm going to choose to expand the audio components, OK? So um, this is the audio components. There's only one right now because it's the audio that was with that particular clip. But check this out. With this clip selected, if I go to the inspector and go to the audio tab here, here are all the separate audio sources, one from each angle. In you fact, you kind of turned them off. 
Wonderful. Yeah, the other ones are turned off because I only wanted to hear the audio from that one clip. I can spill them open and we can see for each audio source, there was actually only one uh, channel recorded. In other words, there was just, for each time you did a setup, you only had one mic. Right, one right? mic. But if you had multiple mics, under each of these, you'd, you'd see, see- Multiple channels. Yeah, like a lav and a boom sure, or something like sure. that, or a lav on each after, right. depending on what you had. But we just have one, but the cool thing is we have four different versions of this audio. So, check this out. I'm gonna turn on, well actually, first let's play this one again. And if you skim, you can see I can skim it right here. I'm just gonna play this one. Okay, there's so that noise again. There's that noise again. But now what I'm going to do, and this is one thing to be careful with. I'm actually going to turn the next one on, and we see it appear down here. So we got the separate audio components. So I'm going to turn the other one off. I did that first because if you turn that first one off, it collapses them back down again, and you have to expand That's it right, again. That's right, because it's, there's nothing there. Right, so it just collapses them down. So let's listen to this one. It sounded okay. Notice it was out of sync because we're playing an audio from a different take, a diff, yeah, or a different shot. Different you know, shot. all different, all different camera right. set up there. So that, and it doesn't matter. It's out of sync. That's what we're going to fix in a minute here. Let's try this next one. So I'll turn that off and let's look at this one. Do we get? Okay, but he makes a makes yeah. a little smack with his lips there. So let's try this last one. Do we get a shark cage? All right, now that sounds good. Do I get a shark cage? There's a little crackling, but I think that's it's in a marina and there's some boats with the ropes hitting there and that's going to be in the rest of the scene. Right. So that's okay, but it, it misses that big sound. So check this out. That's turned on now, so that's what's down here. So if I play it down in the timeline. Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? Okay. That one's down here now, but it's out of sync. It's completely out of sync, it's, which yeah. I imagine you're going to fix in a second. Yeah, so here's the cool thing. Check this out. One thing I can do, I can slip it directly or I can actually detach the audio. Which okay? you could not do before. You, you could not do on before. On a multicam clip. Right. So I can detach that audio, and there we see um, the separate audio component here. In fact, the reason it looks like this is expanded. So if I right click on it, I can choose collapse audio components, and then we see basically all that detached audio in, in one, one group. container. Yeah. yeah. So now let's check it out. Let's go to where he is about to start talking when we look at the video. Right there, he's right. starting to form the worm, right. Right? right? And then let's let's play it a little bit again. Do I get a shark? So he says, Do you can see right in the waveform where it happens, and it's pretty close, but it's not about there. It should go over there. So I'm gonna hit T for the trim tool, and then I'm just gonna drag that waveform over. In fact, let's command plus to zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. I'm just gonna drag that over to kind of line it up better there and try this now. Do I get a shark cage? Okay. I, I, I'm speechless. It's quite speechless. <laughs> so, I mean, the, it doesn't necessarily seem like a big deal, but be, the ability to detach individual audio components means you can take anything in, an, in a multicam clip, any piece of audio from any mic, from any camera, anywhere, and put it somewhere else in the project. So you can fix you all kinds of things. You can detach it, things. you can slip it, you can move it, you can yes. trim it, yeah, you can everything. bend it, staple it, yeah. fold it. <laughs> you can do whatever. Right, so, I, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So we have a you know whole in-depth multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial where we go through the entire workflow. But this is one of the key new features in 10.1. Excellent, excellent. So uh, there you heard it. Uh, one of the awesome new features in Final Cut 10.1. Uh, we encourage you to check out our website, rippletraining.com. Check us out on Twitter at Ripple Training and our Facebook page. And of course, uh, you can always email us and we do answer our email. So thanks for watching MacBook Studio.